These days, everyone with an internet connection has access to top flight computer science, math, and engineering courses for free. So why would anyone spend their time and money on a traditional computer science program? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's student. And on this channel, I share my experience with online learning and my growth as a software developer. A couple years back, I decided I want to fill some missing educational gaps as a software developer coming from an engineering and mathematics background and learn some core computer science concepts. I evaluated some of the open source computer science degree GitHub repos and websites with some more traditional CS programs. Both are feasible solutions to getting great computer science education, but there are pros and cons for both. First, let's talk about the quality of the courses. One of the appealing draws of an open source style education is that you can pick and choose whatever courses you want from whatever college you want, and you aren't locked into a computer science department's faculty like a traditional university would. You could be learning computer science principles from Princeton one month, and then learning discrete math from MIT the next month. Now that's pretty awesome if you ask me. The great thing about open source course lists is that they are very well curated and the best options will bubble to the top so you'll be learning subjects from great instructors every step of the way. There is, however, something traditional computer science courses will provide you that the on-demand open source courses can't, and that's live instruction and peer collaboration. Sometimes having access to those helping hands for support and advice can close the gap on caliber of the professor teaching the course when compared to the open source courses. Next, let's talk about success rates. Have you ever started a free course on Coursera and was really dedicated for a week or two and then life got in the way or something else caught your eye and you never finished the class? This has happened to me several times and I was curious what the average completion rate for a free MOOC course was and I found that the average is only 5-15% to of students complete the course. This didn't surprise me too much since you have nothing to lose and no skin in the game so the barrier of quitting and doing something else is almost zero. I did look into the graduation rates for the University of Minnesota, which is my local public university, and found that around 80% of students complete their degrees. This rate will fluctuate depending on the university, but more people tend to see things through when they are paying for courses, have deadlines to assignments, and peers pushing them along the way. To me, it takes a very disciplined person to see an open source education all the way through. Next, let's talk about trimming the fat. Open source computer science course lists cut out most of the fluff you get from a traditional computer science program. The open source variant will only focus on the most fundamental courses to learning CS, whereas a traditional university degree will have English, humanities, and science requirements. You could argue that these other courses outside of the general scope of computer science will make you a more well-rounded and educated person, but will not necessarily make you a better computer scientist. It will just cost you money and time for the most part. I did take a traditional undergraduate degree in electrical engineering, and for the most part, my non e courses were a waste of time, but I did take a finance course my senior year on capital markets and the stock market, and that course alone shifted my trajectory as I would later pursue a master's degree in financial mathematics to blend my interests in both finance and engineering. Sometimes those seemingly pointless electives could open your mind to a specific career path or a field that you want to work in. Next, let's talk about credentials. Receiving a diploma to put on a resume is getting less and less important in the job market, but for the most part, it's a huge advantage when searching for a job especially if you're looking for an entry-level job. If you already have a four-year degree, but are looking to supplement your knowledge, an open source computer science education and a solid portfolio could be all that you need. The fact of the matter is, a lot of companies won't even look your way without a four-year degree from an accredited university. You just need to consider what your goals are from a computer science education, and if the route you choose will get you there. Next, let's talk about price. I thought about not even talking about cost differences between the two since it's so obvious that the open source format will be cheaper than its traditional program counterpart. Five years ago, there was little to no options to get a cheap computer science degree from a university. But with the advent of MOOC style degrees, the price gap is shrinking all the time. For example, the University of London offers a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science through Coursera with a complete tuition cost of around $15,000. These MOOC courses won't ever be as low cost as the open source program, but a full CS credential for under $20,000 is an absolutely great value. It'll be interesting to look back on this topic 5 and 10 years from now and see how the landscape has changed. Both educational paths have their use cases and can develop great computer scientists and software developers. I am curious to know if anyone has completed a full open source computer science degree or knows someone that has. Drop a comment below if you do. If you're looking for a CS master's degree education, you might be interested in my short playlist on how to apply to a CS master's degree program. See you in there.